Yo, welcome to Swank View. I'm your host, Swanky Dodo. Uh, uh, today's episode, we just started off like this. Blinding someone to teaching them a lie. And then training them to teach the same lie to future generations. That's blinding someone. Let's get into it. Religion. Yeah, I know. It's a sensitive topic for a lot of y'all. It's, it's a problem for a lot of people in general. A lot of people got a problem with talking about religion because it's such a sensitive issue. But we're going to talk about it. We're going to get into it. We're going to be totally unbiased, totally professional, and totally um understanding of each and everyone's personal beliefs and preferences. With that said, religion was written by kings, emperors, politicians, and conquerors as a form of control of the masses. Ultimately, religion deprives you of knowledge. Ultimately, because it has you thinking in one zone, in one level. And it controls your destiny. Because it has you acting and behaving in a certain manner and only doing things in a certain fashion and way. Ray Higgins say it's paralysis of analysis. Say you're not, you, your mind is paralyzed to analyzing what's going on. You're not analyzed because you've been fed it and you're just going to go along with it. Because that's what you've been told and that's what you've been indoctrinated in. Indoctrinated means someone has a doctrine and then they instill it in your motherfucking man, in your man, in your heart, excuse my language. They instill it in you. Um, so that's paralysis of analysis. Your analyzer skills are paralyzed for whatever reason due to this belief and or assumption and understanding of what you call faith, religion, your God, your deity, so on and so forth. Um, the crazy thing about it, you never got a chance to research and explore and decide your own faith or religion. You will force fear religion at birth. You accept the religion before you can read or write or comprehend knowledge or know right from wrong. So if an infant dies before they accept God, are they then condemned to hell in Christianity? Because it says you can only come to heaven through Jesus, the Son, to get to the Father. Period. And there's no definition anywhere in the Bible that says what happens to children who didn't get a chance because they're babies or infants or toddlers or innocent or unable. It wasn't, it, it, it wasn't no explanation. So, that's a question. We'll get into specifics on later days. We can talk about any topic y'all want to talk about. Share, like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification, I promise you. It's, it, this shit finna get, it's finna get crazy. Excuse my language again, but it's finna get real... Gonna get nuts around here. Ain't nothing off the table. I catch you black and I'm, 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 I got something to say. Period. So you ain't never get a chance to read, write, no right from wrong, good, evil, tree of life, serpents, apples, Adam's Eve. You ain't know nothing about that. If you died, then, then you going to hell too, cause you ain't come through the sun to get to the Father. It, and, 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 and if you don't say it's that And God gonna take care of it Then show me where it said that Cause it don't say it So Jesus 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 Mr. Jesus 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 is the best ever He better than sliced bread Better than buttermilk And I ain't trying to make fun of Jesus Or Christians or Christianity In no means you know, On no level I'm just saying, this how I feel. I'm, I'm gonna keep it funky like gym shoes. I'm gonna tell you what's really going on. I can see through limo tent at night tent with shades on. So everybody pumped up on Jesus juice. What about Allah, Isis, Buddha, Horus, the the Indian divinity, Krishna with the arms. What about Vishnu? 
What about the Egyptian god Ra? Sun god. Scientology is a whole nother thing. Scientology is a blend of science and spirituality with belief in an immortal spirit. An immortal spirit. So they believe in all eternity and your soul lives on and all that. But they only believe in approving that spirit here on earth. Scientologists do not dwell on heaven or hell situations. Instead, they focus on the spirit, the growth of the consciousness, enhancing one's inner, developing your soul elevation, the evolution of your entire existence. Let me say that again. The evolution of your entire existence. Anything else is that's that. Come on, man. What you think we're doing this for? Who are you to say your God is real and another's is not? So in essence, basically you're saying if, the, if your scriptures and testimonials are correct, then the existence of every other God, entity, and deity and their scriptures and testimonials are false. Their testimonials and scriptures are false because yours can only be true. That's the problem. That's a flag. That means all of their stuff is false. That means even the things that predate your religion is false. It's not true. It didn't. It never happened. Right. Religion is religion. To me, religion is intellectual enslavement. Religion makes you inferior to the creator of the religion that you practice. Did you hear? Me? Religion makes you inferior to the creator of the religion that you practice. So whatever religion that you practice and you believe in, you inferior to that and you believe in it. And you're gonna bad bad and do whatever it tells you to do and you scared of it and, and all of that. All that chucking and jabbing, boot licking. You a slave, bro. You a slave, bro. Like I said, we're gonna discuss all these topics. Um, itemized and individually to really get to the heart of it. But this is just an overall surface to let y'all know what's really going on out here. Because y'all out here looking real goofy at the end of the day. That's how I feel. They have me out here looking goofy, but if you do further research, I can't I can't believe it. Let me give you a quick example. If I told you some shit happened 20 years ago, then you talk to somebody who's 75 years old, and you, I tell you something happened 20 years ago, then you talk, you talk to 10 people that's 75 years old who was there, got pictures, photos, video, proof, recordings, and all type of shit to prove that it happened a different way. But you still hung up on the shit that you heard about 20 years ago, but the 75, 80 year olds who I talked to who got proof, documents, actual physical production of what the fuck going on can show me what's really happening tell me show me this shit the proof and then you want me to listen to your motherfucking ass then use the fucking fool oh use the fool oh man so where ass out of here cancel that bitch like nino you know what i'm talking about i ain't trying to hear nothing you talking about i ain't trying to hear now i ain't trying to hear that i got proof you telling me what somebody told you i'm telling you what i know bro you telling somebody told you i'm telling you from physical is i don't Seen the shit, touched the shit, felt the shit. I know God will feel it. The wind, you can feel it, but you can't see it. Your heart is beating, but you can't see it. I understand this. Emotions, power, energy, all that shit is real. But I'm saying on this specific situation, that's bullshit. Because you can't prove none of this shit. So you can't prove, you can't disprove what the next man or woman is saying. Because you can't even prove the shit you saying. Why the fuck I'm going to believe you? Goof ass, Mark. Dumb ass little boy, little da da. Goof ass nigga. So in effect, you can't dis disprove or discredit one of the period. <clears throat> so let let's say this. Religion is intellectual enslavement. It makes you inferior to the creator of the religion you practice. You inferior to the religion and you inferior to the creator of the religion because they give you all the propaganda and understandings or whatever you want to call it to do the things that you're doing. Period.
ultimately, you become docile subordinate. Religion controls schools, government, the military, marriage, and social behavior. The Bible wrote 2,000 years ago with 40 different authors. Over 1,600 over, over 1600 years have 40 different authors with different versions and interpretations. Then you say to me, your God is the one true God and I should bow and beg for mercy and strength and permission to do things and fear him and worship him to make him feel good. Do something to make him feel better or he going to get you. If I don't do that make him feel good, then he going he gonna to make me burn in hell forever. That's crazy. Now understand the moral compass and the understanding of dealing with God or a God, the God, or having a, 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 a responsibility for what's going on in your life. I understand that religion makes people mindful of an ever watchful God, and it encourages you to it encourages self monitoring from fear of physical and supernatural punishment. I understand that. Somebody's over me. I can get punished. I can get in trouble. I can get hurt bad for this. I better be on my best behavior and be good and just and not steal and not murder and not rape and not pillage and plunder and hurt anyone. Oh my God. Oh my God. What a beautiful child. All that. You know what I mean? So I, I get that. But what I don't get is why I have to fear, be scared, and why he need worship if God is all. And yes, he is in Thessalonians. Uh, it, God exposed his gender in the Bible. I, I will get to it and give you the actual scripture and verse if you think I'm joking. I ain't telling you what I heard, big dog. It's all fact and swank view. Let's get that out the way. So, all these interpretations, the king, all these interpretations, 40 different authors, over 1600 years, and you telling me it's the only true God. So, everybody else's stuff is just don't make no sense and it's not real. It's not, it's not possible. I, I ain't going. So you feel, like I said, you would be better and and, and, and and better off because 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 you because you have a um 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 because you have an understanding of faith. You believe in faith. You might have more us uh 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 uh, uh What's the word? You might have more patience than the next because you believe in faith and you holding on to something. Let me tell you something. Scientists did a study and found out that priming people with religious religious beliefs helps them in a way. People who are religious and already religious, they do have a little more patience and 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 and, and belief than the next person. Like they'll hold on to the dream. We doing all we put them all in computer tests. And long story short, to put in the layman's, the simplest layman's term, they gave these people these computer tests and found out that all of them tested the same. All of them tested between 63 and 70 percent. It didn't even matter. But the some people who was who was more faith driven and faith based who believed in a God or a higher or whatever you want to call it, a religion, have more patience and self-control. It, it, to get things done when the other person might have gave up but ultimately when they all took the test and their test was measured their level of intelligence intellect or whatever the test was trying to find out they found out that they all tested the same they was all on the same level of consciousness only thing it found out was they had more patience and, uh, and, 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 and more uh, determination because they was hanging on to a faith something greater than themselves and their own physical and mental ability and that's to be noted also, they found out that with the right priming, priming them for these type of affirmations and giving them the um, 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 the, 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 the real positive reinforcement and fortitude to do these, these same things with, with the absence of talking about God, basically just reaffirming this positive energy and creating it and instilling it within the people who were taking the test, they got the same results.